Hey guys, welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to learn a very exciting tutorial. We're going to learn how you can make a text effect like this one. If you want to make a long tail text effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, this video is for you. So here I have made a sequence, just made a sequence as your requirement and then just click here on this type tool, right? So here you can see I have selected type tool and then go to your program monitor and then just click and write whatever you want to write. I'm just writing my name and then select a font that is suitable for this kind of effect. I will suggest you to select a font that is very thick. So if I go here on this essential graphics panel or if you don't see go to window and then enable essential graphics. This panel will pop up and here you have to select the font. So just click here on this text panel and select a thick font like Modak this one. So whatever font you like just select that and then align it to center. Just click here and then align center horizontally and vertically. And here we don't want to have the fill color. We want to have the stroke color only. So just scroll down and here you'll see fill color. Just disable it and then click stroke and change the stroke width as your likings. So here is the text that we are going to use for this effect. Now let's apply the effect. Go to effects panel and there search for echo and then click and drag this echo effect on top of your text. Go to FX control panel. If you don't see, go to window and here you will see FX control. Just click here. Then this panel will pop up and here you'll see a lot of settings. So here is our echo effect. Before changing anything here on this echo effect, we need to animate the text. So it looking like it is dancing, right? So we are just going to animate the scale settings. So I'm just going at the beginning of my text layer, then clicking here scale. Then maybe I'm going forward five frames just press shift and then right arrow key to go five frames forward and then you can just zoom in it a little bit 130 then you can just go here and then you can again zoom out again go few frames forward you can zoom in to maybe 145 then again then reset it now just double click here on this effects control panel to see the effects control panel in full screen then select the keyframe that you have made just press ctrl or command c to copy these keyframes and go here and then just deselect these keyframes and press ctrl v to paste it so here again i'm just pasting it so that we don't need to animate it again and again now if i just play it back you see the text is just dancing but nothing is happening we're not seeing the uh, echo tail effect just go to a appropriate frame just like that and then you can increase the number of echoes i'll just keep it maybe six or seven and then you can change the starting intensity and decay so i'll just decrease the decay maybe 0 0.70 or 0 0.60 just like that and now if i just play it back it is looking great so i don't want to do it every time when i'm editing so i'll just make a preset for this text so just select the echo and the vector motion and then right click and click save preset and here just name it tail text and click ok so the preset have been saved right so again if i just go here and then if i write any text maybe echo then i can just center it if i go here on this preset folder and there you'll see tail text preset is there right so here is the effect if i just click and drag it here on this text and now if i play it back so here is the effect that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye